Hey, what's up guys? Tony here, and here is some Conquest on Caspian Border, and this is going to be some F-18 jet gameplay for you guys. I was playing sometime last week, and there was like literally nobody on Battlefield. I think it was like everyone was playing Mass Effect. <laughs> and so I decided that, you know what, I haven't recorded some F-18 gameplay, well, jet gameplay specifically in a while, so might as well do it. Plus that and I am um, recording for a jet tutorial for another channel. And I might as well get some gameplay while I'm, while I'm at it. But um, one thing I have noticed, when, well, okay, when I first got Battlefield, I played a lot in the jets. Like I racked up jet hours like no one's business. Every time and every time that I was on Battlefield, if there was nobody on, I was playing jets. Now it's at the point where I'm so used to playing with people. If nobody's on, I don't play. I just I'll go do something else. Baseball, Mass Effect Three, Mass Effect Two for a while. Um, anything really just anything else but now I think I really need a refresher course you know I think I'm a better pilot overall now but my accuracy suffers like there's first two kills I'm pretty proud of but there seems to be a lack of precision right now in my shooting I'm using a lot of rounds not getting a lot of kills and I just need to I don't know go through flight school again or something Maybe it's my controller. I've been thinking about that too, because the, the batteries on my controller it it, uh, it won't really hold a charge anymore. It, it's it's basically running out quickly, and so maybe the sticks are wearing out too. I don't really know what the lifespan of a PlayStation 3 controller is, but this one that I have I've had since I bought Xbox, so or spent since I bought Black Ops, and so that's like what a year and a few months or so. So I don't know. I don't really don't know. Like, the amount of use I get out of a PlayStation 3 controller, it's pretty significant. So, I mean, maybe it could be, you know, dying. I don't know. I don't know. Have you guys ever had to deal with, like, a dying controller? I, I've never... I've never really dealt... I mean, I, I bought a second one because of the fact that I wanted two controllers. But when I bought the second one, I pretty much only used the second one. I took the old one, and it's, it's collecting dust now. I don't even use it. It just sits there. Because <laughs> I thought maybe I'd have people over... You know, but no one comes over to play PlayStation, I'll tell you guys firsthand. <laughs> I mean, the girl I was dating last year, yeah, we played some zombies, and um, we played online with the gang on Black Ops, but other than that, no, not really. So maybe I'll just pick up another controller. But, oh, speaking of controllers, I would absolutely love one of those baseball, um, the, the baseball-looking PS3 controllers for MLB. Holy crap, I gotta find one. I know you can get them online. I don't know exactly where. And they're like Sony controllers, but they have, they're white with red baseball seams on them. And oh man, that would be sick. Oh, I'd love that. But let me tell you guys something. I was watching some videos uh, yesterday. I was watching a, it was a helicopter flying tutorial, not tutorial, but it was a helicopter flying video. And it was obviously PC, because up in the left hand corner was this PC, uh, the, the chat box that they have on PC. But this guy's flying was so precise, and you could tell he was using a flight stick controller. And uh, he got so much precision out of that joystick while he's flying around. This ran into my teammate right there. That's kind of my bad, but I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going for Killhorn in the chat right now. <laughs> uh, but what I wish is that you can't on the PlayStation 3. Uh, and as far as I understand, you can't do it on the Xbox either. Actually, I like how I bumped him and the, the bad guy got on his 6. Um, but you cannot link a joystick with a controller. I would love it if you could do that. If it if it recognized like, okay, he's got a joystick set up, and then that'll be used for flying, you know, like it does in, in on the PC. And uh, and I, maybe that's why like the PCs are such elitists. They're just like, this is what we can do. Oh, this is how much better we are than you. But that sort of precision, I would absolutely love that. I would love that in Battlefield Three on for helicopters and jets and. It would just, I think for me, it would make the experience, I don't want to say that much more entertaining, but I, th I would, <laughs> I have a fear that I might become like a dedicated like air snob, you know, don't want to play on the ground anymore if I had such control over an aircraft like that. <laughs> but anyways, um, here's a little bit of per like, like, I don't know, I don't call it personal, but here's just like a little weird comment or question for you guys. Are you guys having a hard time? with the time change because today it seemed like everybody 
was tired. I had professors who's like, I'm tired today. I just like I don't know what it is. I'm tired. You know, everyone's saying it's a time change. The time change happened at what Saturday or Sunday morning at two in the morning. So we had a whole I don't know almost 24 hours to deal with the time change. But everyone's still affected by it. You know, it's like getting up in the morning. I know when I woke up this morning, I get up at six every morning. When I woke up this morning at six o'clock, I turned my alarm off, went back to bed. Um, I got up at six, ten after six, six thirty, and then it was six forty, and I got to be out of my house by seven to get to school on time. So I left my house a little ten after seven. I hustled through getting ready, but just all day today, my brain was super slow. I was just tired, and it's just one of those things. It's like I don't know, jet lag or something, <laughs> like jet lag. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys had a hard time with the time change as well. I know it doesn't affect me when you know you fall back because you gain yourself an hour of sleep. Um, that was my only death right there. I just, you know that that special time when an aircraft is also taking up the same airspace that your aircraft is. Uh, I hate that. You know that's just one of those. I don't want to say a deflating feeling, but you just, you're like. <sighs> Of all the things, you know, like Murphy's Law, whatever can go wrong will go wrong. That's kind of <laughs> what that felt like when you're like, when you are tearing it up. You're like, yeah, I'm tearing this up. I don't have any hardcore um, try hard jet pilots. I'm the only try hard jet pilot in the air. It's nice. It's a nice feeling. But um, yeah, the, the time change is kind of wigging me out. And it didn't really help me out because I was, you know, I'm taking Spanish this year. That's a long story in itself. This is what I mean by precision. I'm like way, way out in front of this guy. And he's fine straight, damn it. But, uh, yeah, this we're professor's cool young guy. You know, he's a very cool uh, Spanish professor. He's going around. He's, like, asking us questions in Spanish and stuff. We're supposed to be responding with, like, what do we want to go do, you know, in the future tense. Uh, we're just learning that. And so he's we're supposed to write this, like, ten-sentence uh, paragraph, like, what do we want to do uh, in five years? What do we have, like, a five-year plan? And I'm sitting there, I'm just like, my brain, it just hurts. Like, I can't think, I couldn't think of any words or whatever. So it was really crazy. But, um, yeah, time changes blow, man. I just, uh, I can't take them. But, uh, anyways, guys, uh, what I go? 7 1. I was the top scorer on my team flying the Jets. That's kind of pathetic. But, anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll talk to you later.